So I get an ADB shell. We have the pound because we have rooted this phone. You'd see a dollar sign if the if it wasn't rooted. All these instructions are in the thread also. You can pause the video and restart it as needed. After the push, you'll see the location where I put these two files. So it might be different for you, just depending on where you put it. I put it in the same locations that I do, so you won't confuse yourself. If you do not have root access, you cannot do this. You will not be able to push these files to those locations. Changing the permissions. And here I install auto start dot apk you can also find it on the market and then I use the command to reboot the phone and you'll see once the phone gets it, it reboots I didn't cut any portion of this video out because I want you guys to see really how long it takes. I felt if I had sped it up, you might think something's wrong with your phone. So I've just rebooted it, and you'll see super user permission pop up because it's going to want to allow uh, auto start to run. So you push allow. Make sure you don't deny it or you won't get internet with a $45 plan. So right now I'm waiting for the 3G icon to pop up. Signal's a lot worse in my house than it is outside. We're actually on a little hill. But for some reason it's a dead zone. So now the 3G icon has popped up. You probably want to change your home page. Won't be needing to go to Sprint anymore. I guess I'm rubbing the phone for good luck at this point. Boom, the internet works. Should I go to ESPN?
I think I'm looking at my fully flashed droid 2 on gingerbread right now, trying to send an MMS to the Evo here. I'm going to have problems because the APN I put on it originally isn't the correct one. Lucky for you guys, we've attached the correct one on to the message thread. The most annoying thing when flashing a phone to Cricket is probably the MMS. So at least I'm getting a text message. Try to send him back Roger, but uh, autocorrect fail. Thought there might be some interesting pictures on here, but uh, they're all stock pictures. Now with the incorrect APN, it still had enough settings to receive, but it wasn't sending. It sent an album cover. And you'll see pretty quick how I can tell that something's wrong. Unable to send message. So now I have to go back to the file. I don't even think I had the right phone number in there. So put your phone number in there, save the file, throw it in the APN Backup Restore folder on your phone. Unplug the phone so it has uh, access to the SD card. Now on the droid, if you're flashing one of those, you don't want to delete all the APNs ever, I've been told.
One thing that I believe I forgot to show on this is that you do need to go to the dialer and download or uh, dial pound pound D A T A pound. That's pound pound data. There's either a pound at the end or you push. There's no pound and you push send or you do push send. Uh, like I said, the instructions are in the forum. Then you'll enter the EPST settings. You'll click edit and then you'll have to enter the MSL or SPC again. That is the password. Once you get past that, you need to go to advanced RTSP proxy settings or proxy address and make that 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. Also make the HTTP PD proxy address 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 you might need to reboot after this the reason why we were making uh, these settings as such is that Sprint tries to route all the multimedia through their servers and you're gonna have a big problem with that in Cricut chances are uh, your YouTube videos won't play and other streaming media might not play like uh, iHeartRadio or Pandora so uh, make sure you go ahead and do that that was the last uh, part of our video tutorials. I uh, hope to see you in the forum. Thanks.